Hello world and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be about data. Um, I've got a data logger here which I use occasionally. Um, it's going to be about the heat that is um, in a canopy during the day. It's not our full summer yet but um, I'm going to do one now towards the end of our winter to beginning of the summer which is uh, it's in um, September we're about the middle of September now so um, I'm going to do a data logger with a with the fridge running um, on, on fridge only I haven't got it on freezer but fridge only I tried to do it last night um, but yeah it didn't work out so this is this is part attempt two well, I hope you like this video if you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers. So this is a fairly easy data logger. My first attempt I didn't set the parameters of the um, of the data correctly. I only recorded for 50 minutes, and I wanted to record it for a whole day. Um, and so I've adjusted the uh, test times every 30 minutes, um, 50 test times I think. Yeah. Anyway, it goes for just over a day. Um, I can do it for. So when you test it, when you use one of these data loggers, all you do is push the button and then the little light on the front will flash occasionally tell you it's recording. So yeah, so that's all you do is, is that. Um, I'm going to put it in this car here somewhere. It's not going to roll around too much um, so I can uh, check the data. So, yeah, well, I've just put the data logger here behind a strap so it doesn't roll around. And occasionally you can see the little green light flashing saying it's recording. So, yeah. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. So now I'm going to close it up go for a drive, get out, walk the dog, come back and then um, do a uh, current test on, on, a, uh, on, the, um, on my new solar blanket as someone has asked me to do so I'm going to do that now. It's a pretty sunny day, only a little bit of cloud around. So that's the data logger there. Okay this is the data I got it off the car. The red line, this is over 24 hours of course. The red line is the temperature. The bottom green line is G point. The top yellow line is relative humidity. And the dotted line there is um, it's the alarm settings. So the thing I'm looking at is that red line which goes up. Now at the peak here, between about that point and that point, um, I had the car open, the car door open, and I closed it up. <clears throat> and it was the middle of the day and the temperature went up. And then it started to decrease about uh, so about four o'clock in the afternoon it started going down and then progressively went down during the night to about uh, 22 degrees Celsius 
So it reached a peak of 32 degrees, I suppose. Doesn't prove much, it is cooler. Nights are around 18, I suppose. Days are around about 28, 29. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to see if it actually went up with the fridge on and see uh, how much it increased the heat of the fridge and it didn't do much at all. I have asked companies that make canopies in their comments, but they've never ever responded to me how they cool the canopies down, so they mustn't put any cooling in them at all. So I'll do another test in the middle of summer and see how it goes. Hello world and welcome to my channel. This is another day I'm doing a test in the canopy. I'm going to put the fridge on um, and test the temperatures over 12, 24 hours. Um, it's supposed to be a 35 degree day coming up. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to check it, lock it up, not open it up at all today um, and see how it goes. Well, I hope you like this video. Do please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers. Yeah, this is the data log I'm using. It's the Digitech uh, QP-6013 data logger. So yeah, I am going to turn it on by just pushing this button. I've already set the parameters of the testing. Yeah, I've just turned the data logger on so it is set to flash every 10 seconds that tells me it's recording and also um, it's set to record every 30 minutes over the 24 hour period to give me a graph um, so I'm going to place it where I placed it before which is up behind here it doesn't move around. It's still flashing, so it's on. I turn this fridge on. So yeah, it's set to two. Set to two. Two on both sides. It's hot so it's not cold at all it's going to draw a fair bit of power cooling down and I'm going to lock it up and um, see how the data logger goes today on a 35 degree day in North Queensland so that's set there you can see that flashing light there occasionally there's a green light flashing every 10 seconds tells me it's recording okay I'm going to lock it up and see how we go I'm going to park it out in the sun later. I'm going to go for a walk with the dog. Park it in the sun. Put some solar panels on it to keep it charged. Yeah, see how it goes. Right, now, as I've said before, the reason why I'm doing this is because of... I see people building canopies and they're putting insulation in them. Um, and I've also then commented to uh, the a couple of YouTubers like Explore Life and uh, 4B4247 and I, I think there's a couple of others about how do they cool their canopies. I've asked that question and not one has responded to me. 
because they use the expensive canopies so either there's no problem they don't know probably and they don't respond to everybody who asks questions that's much my opinion anyway um don't know they didn't ever got back to me about that and these people are any running two fridges pie warmers and things like that in there well my data i don't have a pie warmer or, or a travel buddy or whatever you call them and so i am just doing it for my sake because all i have to be running is a fridge and the days do get hot up in, in, in queensland and north queensland especially out west so if I can work out what the data is going to be like um, before I go and have problems, that's why I'm doing it, for me. So if you look at this, this graph, the red line is the important line. So it starts off at 7.39 in the morning when I put the um, data log and started it off. Now, understanding this canopy was locked up all day. It wasn't opened at all. It was in hot sun all day so it started to climb fairly rapidly and you can see the the graph it must be a bit of cloud come over but it's up there now so around about say three o'clock in the afternoon you could say 3 30 it was the peak of the day peak of the heat before then it started to drop down like that and I took it out at 7.39 the next day so so that dotted line at the top here is an alarm so the alarm was flashing when I took it out so I didn't change that so um, I might have to raise it up next time I do a test the yellow line is relative humidity, doesn't mean anything. The green line is dew point. The other dotted line is is a low alarm. So with this data here, you can see the day was supposed to be in 34 degrees. It peaked up around about 38 degrees. So that meant it the fridge running in there all the time it put it up about four degrees you could say but if you have pie um travel buddies working that would put a lot of, i believe would put a lot of heat in there and another fridge and then if you get too hot then you will have your te compressors in your fridge going into high temperature mode and shutting off I am an electrician, I work on fridges all the time, not portable car fridges, but I work on house fridges, so I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, so the main important one for me is this data here like that, whereas it came down, went through the night, and during the night before it started to go back up in again, that's the curve. So the night went down to, I think it was about... 15 degrees at night um, but it ended up well, 15 and a half so it ended up being uh, 16 and a half inside the canopy so yeah so my conclusion to all this is it's not only going to add 4 or 5 degrees by having a fridge running in there you do open it up occasionally during the days and um, it's nothing to worry about having insulation in it. I've also worked in aluminium canopies for work and they're running in the, in, the, in the sun all day every day. I've never had anything feeling hot when I open it up even though it's only been open um, an hour before, I don't, but nothing gets hot on those at all, not for work canopies anyway. So I've never had any issues with canopy heat. Um, yeah, so don't know why people bother 
insulating them. Yeah, so that's my conclusions that I don't think there's anything to worry about. Can it be heat? Well, I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers.